Hello everyone, welcome to Cassette Beasts. So, I really, really wanted to play this. I unfortunately couldn't play it on release, um, because I had too many other things in progress with, uh, Metroidvania Month and all that. But, uh, I'm very, very excited to start it now. Um, I played the demo for this a while ago. Oh my god, it kept my- it kept my save from the demo. <laughs> um, uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to- we're gonna be able to continue with that one, uh, because I- barely remember anything from the demo. But yeah, I played the demo for this. It was really, really cool, so. Now rides this night through the realm into the wilderness of Wirral, few thereabouts that either God or other with good heart loved. Sir Gawain and the Green Knight, unknown author, 14th century. So, for those unfamiliar, this is, you know, a, a Pokemon-esque game. Um, we, you know, it's a, it's a, uh, creature collector, basically. Um, so that's cool. Uh, pronouns, she, her. You know what, why don't we be, why don't we be, why don't we be an MB? Let's be an MB. Sure. Alright, favorite color, um, would definitely be purple. Uh, there we go. Um, let's see here. Let's see here, how about... Uh, that's fine. Hair. High ponytail, flat top, top bun, neat, long fringe, headband. Straight bob, headscarf, hat and buns, locks, bowl cut. Oh wow, that is a long braid. Lopsided, ooh, I like lopsided. Oh, look at me. And then I can have purple hair. Hair accessory color. Let's make it, um... Let's make it black. Definitely, definitely want glasses. Glasses or eyeshadow? Or a beard. Grumpy. Grumpy! <laughs> Definitely grumpy! Oh yeah. Um... Let's see, eye color... Can I... can I get some blue? I can barely see the eye color. Um, face accessory color. I don't even see a face accessory... on me. Alright, there we go. We're good. Let's go. That's my look. That's what I'm going with. Alrighty, let's hop in. And find out about the mysterious world of cassette tapes. What are those? What sort of ancient dinosaur technology is a cassette tape? My my father had cassettes when I was growing up, so I, I do know what cassettes are, but yeah, it's definitely uh definitely definitely wanted to replay the beginning here because uh, I remember basically nothing about the game. Okay, so we got a hold B to, to keep that dash going, but yeah, this is a creature collecting game. Uh, it was really, really fun when I uh, saw it, and it's got overwhelmingly positive reviews on Steam right now, many of them, so. Basic recycled resource that can be exchanged for items and services. Money can be exchanged for goods and services. Alright, so let's continue and get in here. So, I have played a few creature collecting games on the channel. Um, I played a little bit of Monster Sanctuary back in the day. Um, I've of course played Tim Tim, although I never got back to, to it after it got updates and stuff. But, um, I'm of course not unfamiliar with the genre and have played a fair bit of Pokemon, although I would not call myself a huge Pokemon fan these days. I don't really keep up with the new games that much, although I did play Arceus. I forgot I played Arceus. So that was a thing. Hello. Oh god. It's the- it's VLC Media Player. Hey! Hey stranger, don't make any sudden moves. Traffic crabs don't take kindly to strangers, anyone for that matter. Here, take this. What is this mysterious device? Okay, quick question. What's your aesthetic? Spooky? Sweet. Definitely spooky. Um, I think this is what I went for in the demo as well, so... Yeah. I can see that. In that case, take this. Sheep and unlocked, counting sheep. So I just chose my starter. Ban sheep. The eerie moans of the wild ban sheep at night had led many to believe they were restless undead spirits. But this is untrue. They are very much alive. They just like to have a bit of a whine. Who doesn't? Bio 2. Raise this monster's tape to five stars to unlock more. Habitat unknown. Bootlegs. Interesting. Alright, there's 120 cassette piece. Alright, now just pop that in your cassette player, put on the headphones, and press play. <laughs> this might get a little weird, but follow my lead. Your turn. Don't be shy. 
cool. We're, I'm real loving the purple aesthetic. Just breathe. He'll adjust in a moment. So we what? turn into the creature. Right, let's give him L. Alright. Um, so record is how we catch, if I remember correctly. It tells me my percent chance to flee, which is nice. Um, we have no items. God, the music's really good. So the user's evasion is passively raised in proportion to the amount of HP lost. Ooh, that's cool. Alright, melee attack. Eat it, traffic crab. Oh, and I get to use you. Um, ranged attack, spit, power, raises the user's evasion, miscellaneous accuracy, chance to summon a temporary ally, 50% chance. Interesting. I'm just gonna spit for now. I'll hit you with tackle. There we go. You gained 49 XP. God, this game has good music. I mean, yeah, who'd have thunk it? Melee attack, power 70, accuracy 85%, hits one target, lowers the target's accuracy, battering ram, interesting. And we got three Lego bricks. Cool. Handled yourself pretty well there. What's your name? I'm Kaylee. Nice to make your acquaintance, Quasi. Anyway, you should probably get you warmed up before you freeze to death in your pajamas. Yeah. You had some new clothes, it looks like you just left the gym. Which, you know, is a look. What do you think? Pretty quaint, right? Wait, what is this place? Why does it have a ship on top of it? Welcome to Harbor Town. <laughs> Your new home. Um, my new home? I already have a home. Oh. Uh, right, yeah, sorry. Not very good at this part. I don't know how best to break the news. You're stuck here. We all are. Wait, did I get isekai The truck couldn't get me? My head is spinning. Oh no, we passed out. Wonderful. We're all in the same ship. Oh. Okay. Floating somewhere without any aim, but at least we're together. Okay, okay, I feel you. Ah, oh, wonderful, you're awake. Kaylee gave me quite a fright when she came knocking at my door. <sighs> you had me scared for a moment, Quasi. I don't think it's anything serious. Transforming for the first time is quite a shock to the psyche. Anyway, Harbor Town happened to have a spare home available for you. So this is your place now. Where on earth is this place? On Earth? Kaylee, you haven't told them? Sorry. I should have. Not to info dump on you, but you're on an island called New World. It's not strictly on Earth. At least that's not what we think. Is there a way back home? I'm afraid not. I'm so sorry. Oh no, record screech. The music just stopped. I'm so sorry. Castaways have been trying to get back to their worlds for a century, and none have succeeded. It's okay, Donald, Goofy, and Sora will come save me soon. <laughs> but you'll be okay. There's community in Harbor Town, and we help each other out. It's not a bad life. And it's safe. Well, apart from the monsters. Like the one we fought before. Yeah! I'm actually going on a patrol soon. If you'd like to join me, meet me by the gate. The one just over the bridge we crossed to come into town. In the meantime, feel free to say hi to your new neighbors. Pretty sure word's already gotten around that there's a new face in town. Uh we also fetched some clothes for you, though they might be a bit out of fashion for your era, but it's all we have. My... era? Sorry, sorry, I'm info dumping. I'll catch you soon, right? We can talk more then if you like. The clinic is nearby. If you need a checkup, feel free to visit. So all must be a lot to take in, but we all went through the same thing once. Cool. New quest. This is the world we live in. Speak to Kaylee at the Harbor Town East Entrance. Oh my god. Look at that map. Ranger Handbook, a handbook that Kaylee left for you. You can read this to review what you've learned about life on the island of New World. Cool. Uh, I think I'm gonna turn the music down just a tad bit here. Um, audio. Actually, we'll leave that up, but let's just turn the music down a little bit. Yep, or no, not close without applying my changes. Not that. Apply my changes. We'll do- we'll do 55. That looks good to me. Okay, so wait, is this the whole map? I would be shocked if this was the whole- and it might be. Honestly. Alright. We got new clothes? Um... Oh, here we go. Oh, did I not scroll down? Oh, I totally didn't when I was editing my character. So we can actually change what we're wearing here. 
Vintage dress, wild. Vest, t-shirt, I like a jacket. Um, we'll go for black. If, if black is an option. I guess that's the, yeah, 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 that, that's, that's kind of what I was going for. It's not really black, it's like more of a gray. Um, top color, let's see. I like the, ooh, you know, you know. Let's go, let's go for the, let's go for the Evo look. There we go. That looks good for me. So, there we go. And in bottoms, let's do, let's do the black again. Um, there we go. Beautiful. Shoe color. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. Let's go with that. There we go. Oh yeah, I look great. I look great. There we go. Quasi the MB, off on an adventure. All right, so um, let's go head out and see what we're doing here. How we doing? Nothing? Hmm. New to the whole cassette tape transforming thing, huh? Little piece of advice for you. Keys to not think about how it works. By all accounts, it doesn't make sense. But it does work, so just go along with it. It's gonna be so fun to build a party and stuff. Like I said, I was looking forward to this game ever since I first saw it. Oh, okay, you can fall in the water. Good to know. I can't just walk into people's houses? Jeez. What kind of game is this? I noticed we got like crafting materials, so I guess we can craft stuff at some point. This reminds me of like <clears throat> one of the more obscure creature collecting games I played when I was younger. Um, Robopon? It was such a wild game. I had so many of the Robopon games. They are, they are super weird, but I, I enjoyed them. Hello. Welcome. What can I do for you? Looking for supplies? Rewind. Fully restores the HP of one tape. Uses up a turn when using combat. Oh, with the, oh, okay, never mind. We might not have crafting. Fixes and rewinds a broken tape. Uses up a turn when using combat. Okay, so this full, this, so this is a potion. And this is like a revive, respool. That's neat. Guaranteed successful escape from a wild monster. One full of humans and other sentient creatures, though. Antidote to most common monster poisons. Removes the poison status effect. Doesn't use up your turn. Cooling cream that removes burn status. Doesn't use up your turn. Doesn't use up your turn. Okay, um... Well, rewinds are ludicrously cheap, so... Well, I can only hold five of them, so let's just buy two, just in case I find some in, like, a treasure chest or something. Um, I'll get a respool. Goodbye. As well. Alright, you never know. We might need them. And right off I go. Cool. Ah, it's gonna be fun to play a creature collecting game again, but yeah, like... Oh, I was like, why did I stop? Like I said, I, I played a bunch of Robopon when I was little. I, d I don't think I've ever met anyone else that played Robopon, but it was like weirdly fun. I played it a lot as a kid. We gotta increase our, our sprint here. It needs to happen. That reminds me. Let's look at my party, why don't we? So, Kaylee is in my party. Check my tape. Tutorial, stickers and move. The moves you have access to when using a tape in battle are determined by what stickers are attached to the tape. You can give new moves to a tape by applying stickers from your inventory. Moves you don't want can be peeled as stickers and put in your inventory. Interesting. Stickers can be used as many times as you want, but can only be applied to a single tape at a time. Stickers can be obtained in a few ways, by filling tapes experience points bars, from chests or caches you find, or from certain merchants in Harbor Town. Interesting, so I can learn a skill on one... That's, in that's really interesting. I can learn a skill on one uh, cassette beast, and then peel its sticker off and give it to something else. Oh, that's nuts. Oh, that's super cool. Oh, that's super, super cool. Okay, so even more I want to, um, I want to collect like everything because we just get access to more moves and abilities that way. <sighs> Let's open across the bridge. It seems it's been raised for a while now. That's fine. I can stay on this side of town, I guess. Are you gonna be okay, friend? Huh? You been on the west side of Harbor Town yet? Been meaning to visit the Heritage Center over there. Okay. Box planter. Nothing's been planted here yet. This is where we grow berries. Hmm. Okay. What's up here? Join the Rangers and complete your training to unlock access to these. Qu okay. 
Is it it's like a quest board? Is this the gym? Oh no, town hall. <sighs> I need to get faster for one to be able to run those crab monsters. I, I saw this and I was like, is this a gym? Oh yeah, I gotta jump up there. Oh wait, yeah, I can jump. That's right. Hey. Hey there, champ, you here to work out? How's this work? Sometimes it's not enough just to be good at transforming. Sometimes you just need to simply be stronger. That's where I come in. I can give you custom workout designed to adjust the base stats of your human form. That'll affect the strength of your transformations, too. You decide, for instance, that you need your melee attacks to hit harder, but don't rely on ranged attacks much. We can move some points from ranged attacks to melee to do just that. And as you advance through your training with the rangers, you'll no doubt find yourself with a few extra points to put towards these base stats. Interesting. So I can basically choose my build. Weird. My base stats, yeah, check me. Okay, so I have base stats. Weird. So I have a specific amount of base stats. So I'm kind of an all-rounder right now. But I can, I can like spec into something more specific at some point. That's neat. Huh. Elements? Oh, okay. Themed booster pack of four stickers, including. Oh my God, we got we got booster packs for moves. Well, and that transforming is way more effective in battle, but. Man, I wish the weapons rangers used to fight with. Yante's medical mechanical gear sword was like the most steampunk thing I've ever seen. Hmm. Arbor Town's always had some sort of community volunteer group. How else would it have stayed in one piece so long? Yante's rangers are the latest iteration of it. Gathering resources, assisting people's concerns, we do the whole list. Keeping things in order has gotten even tougher since discovery of the cassette tape phenomenon, but if anyone can do it... I, I, I'm guessing that's an I. Yante can. Or Lanthe can? Yante? I... I really... I don't, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I'm, just, I, I'm probably just stupid. Scribble notes say, I believe certain monsters will mature into different forms depending on whether it's day or night. Okay, we got an Umbreon Espeon situation. This song is super good. It's empty. Well, what is it? Why? Dumb. Hello, sweetie. You had to sign up with the Rangers. You just missed Lente. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say it's all an L because it's easier to say. She'll be at the outpost in the park. If you go north from the outskirts, you won't miss it. Okay. All right. So I just wanted to explore a little bit, see what we could find and all that jazz. Um, but I guess we can kind of start to get out of here. So that's my house. Did I talk to you? Oh. Know what I miss? Sports. Why can't Harbor Town start a football team? I suppose there'd be no one to play against. I don't think the giant crabs on the beach have a competitive spirit. Okay, what's up here? Oh wait, was that was that just my house? I don't think that's my house. Well, I can change my clothes here. No, it totally okay. So that's weird. On the map, it shows my house is down there. But right now, my player character is right here. But if I go in here, it teleports me down there? Weird. Um, that is confusing me. Because, yeah, it's saying my house is, like, down there. I assume that's what the house meant. The Gramophone Cafe. Yeah. You ever get stuck? Try asking around town. Sometimes a good rumor will put you back on the right path. Interesting. Bonjour. Not too often we get a new face in here, especially not one as handsome as your I own. I am Clemence. This fine establishment is the Gramophone Cafe. What can I say? I own many records and I brew the best coffee. Not that there's much competition. I'm not going to grace people with my rendition of a French accent. Thank you. Please, feel free to ask me any questions. I'm in no rush. Uh, what's on the menu? Oh, boring things. Alright, au revoir. All right, au revoir. Gramophone oui. Cafe? When I arrived in Harbor Town, the people here were crying out for a place to socialize, a place that must be stylish. I made that place, if not me, who else? Town had a gramophone, an old machine for playing musical records. So I took this machine and I made it the centerpiece of this establishment. But the people that cried out to me, Clemence, you have a gramophone but no music! One day, the rangers find a place, and here I go into the French accent. It is filled with intact records, so they bring them to me, they lamented. We have the records, but they are made for modern record players. Our gramophone cannot play them. I said to them, shush, and I fixed the gramophone, and now we can play the records. Now my cafe is stylish, and it has music. Everyone is happy. The end. Bonjour. How did you get here? I fell, landed in the ocean, washed up here. About ten years ago, it, it is what it is. I miss... 
motorbikes. Honey brew coffee? Mm. I have a special method, and the pipers grow me coffee beans on their farm. Is a good arrangement, we? Oui? All right, bye bye. Au revoir. Au revoir. Well, there's my attempt at a French accent. Enjoy. Okay, so what is in here? Hello? Ah. 101 years this town has stood. Did you know that? I remember what this place looked like as a little girl. This town changes so much so fast, but the foundations, they've always stayed the same. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh, I knocked it down. Oh, I can pick it up. I put it on you. There you go. I'm going to put that on your bed if you don't mind. That's where it needs to go. Trust me. Sorry. All right, bud. You'll have to come back later and use the elevator. I'm doing a few long overdue repairs. All right, I will be out of here then. Let's walk across these shipping containers that form a bridge. Alrighty. Might as well go check this out. Yeah, I need to be able to sprint longer. Hey! Hey again, Quasi. You feeling a bit better? You know, you held your own last time we fought together. So while I've uh, been given an errand, I need a helping hand. Do you think you'll be able to help me out? Sure. Glad to hear you're up to the task. See that path well. there? There was some kind of quake or monster activity last night. You can see the cracks on the ground. We're gonna check the path and make sure it's safe for crossing. Hmm. Here, take the key to the gate. Hey. Cool. Remove from inventory, Harbor Town Gate Key. This game is quite a looker too. Um, it has a very, very cute art style. I find I really, really like it. Oh, okay, we can't go in there. I need surf. All right. Yeah, I don't think I made it much further than this when I played the demo. So, and like I said, it's been so long ago that I barely remember it. Right, uh, there's some basics I gotta show you first. Hope you're ready to turn into a monster again. Definitely. <laughs> You'll adjust in no time. It's like riding a bike. Except, you know, the bike transformed into a moody, floating sheep. And also, you're the bike. Yeah. Hmm. See that creep with the boots? It's a spring heel, and it's gonna get aggressive with you if you get any closer. So you're gonna get closer, of course. Okay. Can I collect this? This was like a resource that I needed for TMs, basically. Or stickers, rather. Spring heel. Well, you look funny. You look very funny. You look like a budget superhero. Tutorial. Action points. Pay attention to these orange squares. They are your action points, or AP for short. Most moves require you to spend some AP. The amount of AP a move costs is shown next to its name. If you don't have enough AP for a move, you won't be able to use it this turn. I like this sort of system because something that always happens in like, um, you know, like Pokemon and a lot of other JRPGs and stuff like that, um, is your weaker moves, you just replace them as soon as you get something stronger. But having a system like this, it still gives weaker moves a use. Like Pokemon has a little bit of this, especially if you're doing like Nuzlocks or like an Ironmon run or something like that. Um, because PP is an issue, but usually, you know, you don't keep Ember for the entire game because what's the point in having Ember if you have Flamethrower? But here, it could be useful because maybe you don't have enough action points to use a Flamethrower, but you do have enough for an Ember and stuff, so... And if, like, something's gonna die from a weaker attack, you can conserve AP. Action points. Each party member gets two AP each turn and an extra one if they land a type advantaged attack. Okay, we really, really want to do that. You can plan ahead and save up AP for your most powerful attacks by using weaker, low AP moves. Yep. So, smack costs nothing. Um... Yeah, so let's go ahead and hit you. And you can use... Uh, spit, I guess. Owie. Taking a bit of a beating. Your monster form can take it. Green bar represents your monster form's health. The red is yours. If a form loses all its health in the fight, its tape will break and need repairing. Not only that, but any extra damage from the attack that broke it will apply to your health, the red bar. Both of us lose all our health and we'll have to retreat back to Harbor Town. Got that? Yeah. Right. Let's crack on. Smack. Patui. Yeah, eat that, nerd. Um. So let's smack you. So you're a different type. I'm a beast. The logo beside you is just ranged, so you're just a- you're just ranged, I guess? Can I catch you? Oh, I don't have any blank tapes, so no, I cannot. Alright. So I'm kind of interested in you. You're kind of hilarious, and I like you for that reason. Patui. Victory! The battle was won. 
And I gained 63 XP. We got Pulp, Wood, and Wheat. And uh, Siren uh, Sirenade learned Sonic Boom. Hits a whole team. Ooh, okay, that's good. Yeah! Nice work. Hmm, that elevator should be functioning. There will be a switch around here to turn it back on. Alright, what is this? Oh, it's hey. the switch. Great, let's head on up, shall we? I'll let you take the lead for any more fights, but don't worry. I'll be sticking with you from here on out. Unlock Kaylee. Kaylee's now your partner. Interesting, we have partners? And Sirenade. Sirenades are particularly loud creatures and can amplify their own singing voices through their microphone tails and wings. They don't seem to have much awareness as to whether or not their singing is too loud for those around them. Unfortunate. Okay. Quest updated, this is the world we live in. Follow Kaylee's directions. Cool. What a cool game so far. Like I said, I was very, very much enamored when I played the demo for this forever ago. Alright, we got some more VLC media players back there. Um, we'll, we'll worry about those in just a second. Is there a reason to be up here? I guess not. I love this map because it makes me think of, like, Link's Awakening, basically. Which, uh, I love, so. Ooh, there's a snack. Come on, it's this way. Okay, okay, you're gonna make me go... You're gonna make me go that way. Okay. How come you get to fly? There'll be more monsters about, but we can take them. What if I go down here? Hey! You need a break? We can rest here if you like. Ooh, okay. Spawnfire pits mark safe area. Mark areas you're safe to set up camp. Gives you a chance to repair your tapes and heal up. Ooh, okay. Um, I want to fight you. Cause you're a snack. A Carna Viper. All right. So I will smack you, and you spit. Plowy. Oh, did you just poison me? I thought I saw... Okay, no, that was just an effect. I thought I saw a purple buzzle, bubble still going up around me. I wonder if there's a way to speed up battle. Some of the attacks take forever to go off. Okay, you are poison. Poison characters take damage at the end of their turn. It does fade, though. Does it go away at the end of battle? Can't quite tell. Ooh, we got sharpen, which is rare. Uh, raises user's melee attack plus... 3% XP points per empty slot, plus one duration, and plus 4% speed? What? So that's just that's just a rare sticker. We got a foil sticker. Interesting. Plus 3% XP points per empty slot. So I guess that means like moves. So this is like a grinding sticker. And plus 4% speed is cool too. All right, I will take that. So, like I said, I wonder, is there a way to speed up battle? Frame rate, anti-aliasing, glow, overworld shadows, overworld streaming, audio gameplay, autosave, speedrun timer, HUD quest, that screen shake, controller, AI smartness, level scaling. Ooh, I'm glad this game has level scaling. That's quite nice. AI smartness. Okay, so there's no speed up battles. That's fine. It'll give us more time to enjoy them. Camp. Rest, which requires that. Tape storage. No tapes. Rest. Move to inventory, wood times four. Kaylee tells you a funny anecdote about her life. All right. God, I'm really into you so far. Let's go. What a, what a cute, adorable game. I can't wait to collect them all. Okay, the traffic cone disappeared. Oh, but you're out now, because it's night time. I see. Come on, it's this way. Oh, okay, fine. We'll, we'll, we'll die. Jeez. You know, not everybody has wings. Hello, what's up? I haven't seen you around before. Let me guess, you watched up pretty recently, didn't you? Oh, is that a cassette player, Hilton? Here, take these. Rewinds. There we go. See, that's why I didn't buy a bunch. Fully restores the HP of one tape. Uses up a turn when used in combat. Um, this is funny, because the rewind is, it appears to be a pencil, and I believe that's because to rewind tapes, people would use like pencils or pins to rewind them, so I think that's a little reference to that. If I recall correctly. Oh, it's windy. Oh, it's windy! Come on, it's this way. Okay, I was like, is this gonna push me off? It sure is. I love my character's look, and I like the grumpy eyes too. The grumpy eyes are fantastic. 
Okay. Um, there's more of those to fight. Huh. Hmm. There, do you see that monster? Must be a way to get it to come over here. It looks kind of cool. Hi. Ooh. It's a Carna Viper and a Traffic Crab. Okay, um... Smack. And smack. Owie, don't spit at me. Can't believe spit is an attack. Just spit at people. I need higher speed so I can attack before these things because... They're attacking before me right now, or do they always attack before me? I would imagine that's not the case. I probably just need higher speed. Hmm. Traffic jam? What the? Speed down? Oh my god, no! Okay, so maybe we're like speed tying or something? That's why... Or maybe they got a preemptive one? No, they wouldn't have gotten a preemptive. They're only level 3, I wouldn't expect them to outspeed me. 118 XP. But maybe, maybe I just misread, uh... Misread the situation there. The situation. Uh, don't mind me. Hello. Come here. Okay. Take these. Yay! Records monster forms with a normal efficiency rate. Something about the monsters on well. New World. When weakened, their essence can be, well, recorded the cassette tapes. Don't entirely know how it works, but it does, and that's good enough for us. Cool. Alright. Use on. I can recycle items. Domin off. Okay, and you spit to weaken it. 28% chance recording. There we go. There we go, 100% chance now. Ow! And I get hurt while it's happening. Cool. I gotcha. Dominoth. Dominoths see themselves as defenders of peace and spend their days patrolling the skies of woodland areas. The only thing that can distract them from their noble duties are bright lights, such as lamps. Okay, so yeah, we have like... Whether a recording succeeds or not is down to chance, however, several factors affect the possible probability. How much health the monster has, its level and rarity, how much damage you dealt it while recording, and how much damage the person recording it took. Recording tapes. Buffing your attacks or debuffing the target's defenses can be an effective way to increase the damage you deal the target and improve the odds in your favor. As long as the monster is being recorded, it cannot flee or be defeated, so you don't need to worry about knocking it out. Ooh, that's nice. That is very nice. Okay. You be uh, well, I've already viewed the Beastiri entry. Uh, I'm not gonna rename things. I just, I wanna go with, like, their default names. And I'm also horrible at naming things, so... Now try switching to the state shape you just recorded. Oh, we did- okay, yeah, since I'm just copying the creature, basically... It's still here. I didn't, like you know, get rid of it. Oh, that's interesting. That's how you get yourself new monster forms. However, if a monster takes too much damage, it'll flee, so you won't be able to record it. You with what? me so far? Now let's finish this bug off. Potui. Sprint? Oh my god. Using agility on me. Um, smack. And spit. Ow. Potui. And... Boom. Okay, just two more. Zephyr. Patoi. <laughs> Got it. Beautiful. I gained 63 XP. And we uh, got Zephyr. Ranged attack, power 60, hits one target. Wheat, pulp, and wood. Cool. Uh, what's happening? Monster forms give us extra abilities when we record them, beyond just being able to take their shapes. Don't panic. Ooh, there we go, Mothwing Glide. You can now hold A to glide across long distances. This consumes your stamina. Oh my god, that's so cool. Sorry. So I probably warned you, but I thought it might be a little easier to show you. We can use this glide to get across the gap right there. This world, oh my god, this is so cool. Let me alone, let me alone, I got places to be. So, we're gonna get back to the save point over here. Camp, yeah. And, uh, cool. So let's, uh, go ahead and rest, and... This is where we save, right? Used to go camping a lot when I was a kid. Ireland had a bunch of great places to camp out. My dad would drive us, the two of us, to the countryside, and we stargaze together. Camping with you makes me nostalgic for that time. 
cool. If that's your accent. I couldn't quite place it. Awesome. Well, um, I think we're going to go ahead and save the game then. So, yeah, this game is very, very cool so far. Happy I have the opportunity to play it. So, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this first episode of Cassette Beasts, and I'll see you next time for some more. Yeah.